one of the oldest dictatorships in the world, headed by General Tan Shui. Without a doubt, one of the worst tyrants in the world. Well, almost, because in North Korea, there's stiff competition from Kim Jong-il. The difference is that Burma has recently started welcoming tourists, especially tourist dollars. To encourage them to visit the country, they made this cute little movie. life, well-being, if you believe the regime, Burma is paradise on earth. When you see this absurd propaganda, you ask yourself, what's behind all that? So we decided to go there, to get an inside look into the daily life of the Burmese people, to understand what it's like living in a dictatorship, getting up, working, studying, getting information. All that must be very complicated. Oh, by the way, journalists are not welcome here. So we're going to pretend we're just tourists. You cannot pronounce the word Burma here in this country. Since 89, the junta decided to rename the country Myanmar, which means the first inhabitant of the world. But of course, all that is just propaganda. The regime is especially touchy about this issue. The Burmese ambassador to the United Nations constantly issues reprimands to impose the use of Myanmar on countries like France or the United States that don't recognize it or refuse to use it. One of the first things you realize when you arrive in Rangoon is that 99% of the cars have the steering wheel on the right side. And they drive also on the right side, what is extremely dangerous. That is why they all have lucky items. You need somebody like me, you need a co-pilot. Ah, yes, you... yes. If I want to the, uh, pass to the, uh, another car, yeah. I need to tell you at the in front car will be come or not. Yeah, okay. If you see the no come, I can pass. So I'm your co-pilot, okay? Uh, yeah. <laughs> no co-pilot, huh? Yes. What you must know is that the direction of the traffic changed in 1974 when the astrologers of the former chief of the Genta, Ni Win, told him that it would bring him luck. But the Burmese are out of luck. Cheap cars mostly come from Japan, with the steering wheel obviously on the wrong side of the car. So they make do. And of course, for public transportation, it's the same problem. As you can see here, the steering wheel is on the right side. So here, as you can see, I enter on the left side. And when I exit, of course, I finish in the middle of the street, what's extremely dangerous. I'm not quite sure I would like to be a bus driver here in Burma. Ready? Yes, ready? Okay, dangerous, huh? I'll try. First time, huh?
Here we're in a public uh, gas station. We're not supposed to film here, so we're staying in the car. Every Burmese is allowed about two gallons per car, no more. It's an obvious way to uh, limit the travels in the country. And to be sure they don't go beyond those two gallons, they have to use this small little booklet. Here I'm in front of a private station where you can buy unlimited gasoline. It's actually a way for those in the Genta to sell the gasoline they didn't already use. And as you can see, the security is extremely bad. In Burma, each tourist has the right to enter the country with $2,000 in cash, max. There are no other methods of payment. No credit cards, no traveler's checks, Hello. nothing. Here, cash is king. Can I change this? Change? Those change, yeah, have change in kyat. Yeah. Kyat. Can I have in kyat? Uh, do you have another one now? Why? There's a problem? Mm -hmm. In your country, it's okay. <laughs> what, what's, so what's, what's the problem? The, 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 the line. The line here? <laughs> so that's, I can't change that. You don't have the another one? No, this, but there's a problem with this? Mm -hmm. Also, what's the problem with this one? This one, uh, this one, this one. This one. Oh, you mean this here? Yeah. That, that's a problem there? Yeah, that's a problem. And that's a problem here? The is no good. So <laughs> none of the, none of those, uh, none of those is okay. Yeah. <laughs> Out of my two thousand dollars, almost half of the bills either have a tiny stain or aren't completely perfect. So no one wants them, simply because the junta doesn't accept them. <laughs> Only 1% of the population actually have a bank account. Firstly, because it's very difficult to open one, and also because the bank can disappear just like that. That is why the Burmese people have to find other ways to invest their money, and sometimes very strange ways. Uh, tell me, if, if I want to buy a, a SIM card, yes. Can you, can you write to me the price to have a, an official big SIM card? How much is it? $1,800 for one SIM card? That's unbelievable. You must know that the Burmese people earn every month about $30. You can imagine what $1,800 is. They actually invest in those cards and rent them around them. So in Burma, you invest more in SIM cards than in real estate. So that's that's Aung San. General Aung San. Okay. Here we have a normal bill of 100 kyat. But what is quite incredible is that at the end of the 80s, the junta decided to press some bills that are all multiples of nine. Okay, this is 100. That, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, but 90 is number. weird. That is also an astrology number. Okay. Nine is supposed to be a good number for the junta. So you have bills of 90 and 45 kyat, what is absolutely absurd. 
But this is incredible. I mean, 90 and 45 yeah. is really funny. Yeah. But this is not very easy to make the change. You know, if I want to pay, yeah. uh, it's, it's, it's complicated yeah. with 90 yeah. and, and 30. Yeah, they this have. lasted only a few years and created a huge fiasco, an economic fiasco. And they decided to come back to reason and come back to normal bills. Welcome to Burma.